Are you trying to use Amazon product pictures in your blog post, but you find that they're just too small and they don't look good? Well, I picked up a really good tip of how you can resize those images, and all you need to know is a little bit of code. Hello YouTube and a very special hello to all my subscribers. My name's Phil and welcome to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, why not subscribe and click that like button. So today we're gonna to be talking about Amazon. Well, I found that when I first used the product pictures for Amazon, that they were far too small and also there were a lot of rules that you had to follow. Well, let's face it, Amazon is a little bit like a petulant child. They want you to play with their ball, but they don't want you to play with their ball. They have all these rules that if you cross them, they're gonna really kick you in the backside. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna jump into the computer and I'm just gonna go through all the little tricks and tips that I've learned about using Amazon links and Amazon product pictures. And if you stick around into the end, I'm gonna give you the best tip that I came across from the Project 24 community, and it's how to resize those product images so they look great on the page. Okay, so just before we get started, I just want to talk about some really important bits of information when it comes to Amazon. So you can join Amazon Associates uh, free, uh, anyone can do this, and all you have to do is make sure that you get three sales in the first three months. Now, personally, I failed to do this when I first applied because I just didn't have enough traffic. So um, I would recommend that you have at least, let's say about 30 articles on your website and you're about sort of uh, two to three months in that way you're going to be uh, much more likely to get those three sales now it's not a problem if you don't make those sales because you can just reapply the only problem with that is that you have to go back through your website and you have to um, go through all those links and make the new links for the new account now this is not a problem if you're in project 24 because Jim and Ricky have come up with a really good plugin called the Sherpa plugin which will do this for you automatically. So another thing when it comes to the images for Amazon products, make sure that you do not download the images from, um, from Amazon or from Google and change them. You cannot download images from products of, of pictures that are hosted on Amazon and then upload them to your own website. If you do it this way, you're going against the terms of service and you can get kicked out of Amazon Associates. Um, so do not do that. There's another way to do it. There's a better way to get images on your website and we're gonna be talking about that in just a moment. I just wanna show you a bit of a sneak preview of the little tip that I'm gonna talk about later in the video. So this is just my recommended gear page on my website, Income School Student, and you can see some of the gear that I use, cameras, uh, audio recorders etc so this is actually the largest image size you can get from uh, the stripe which is um, the tool that we, we use in Amazon Associates to get links and images now if you compare that to after I've gone through and done this tip you can see that the images are much larger so it makes a bit of a difference I think I think they look a little bit better if they're a little bit larger so that's what we're going to be talking about in a moment but let's just talk about um, Amazon and links and everything in general, just in case you're watching this and you've not done it before. So um, when you are in Amazon and you're signed up as, as part of the Amazon Associates uh, program, you can see along the, the top of, the, um, of Amazon you've got this uh, site stripe. So this will give you, for any product that you click on, you can get a text, image, and text and image. Um, link. So if we go and have a look at the uh, the audio recorder that I recommend, the Tashcam DR05X, I really like this one. Um, so yeah, we can get the text, the image, and the text and image. So just to show you what that looks like. Okay, so let's just look at some of those examples. So uh, here you can see obviously the uh, text hyperlink. So um, just make sure that you do not include the word Amazon in your links. That goes against the terms of service. Um, if you said something like check out the latest deals on Amazon, um, it should be check out the latest deals is what's highlighted in your hyperlink and Amazon is not. Another great tip is to really sell your links. Tell the user why they should t uh, click on the link. Something like, um, I've had such a great experience with this product and I would really recommend it to you. You can check it out here. 
that gives the user a reason to click on the link. The other thing is you've got to tell them where you're, they're going. So for example, you could just put in brackets, see it on Amazon. Then they know that they're not being taken to somewhere um, unusual, somewhere harmful to them, maybe somewhere they're going to get um, a virus. People trust Amazon, so if they know they're going to Amazon, they probably will click on it to check out the product. Um, you can also see below here, we've got the image. So this is the largest image size that you can get from the site stripe bar. And below you've got the text and image. So it gives you this kind of ad looking thing with the price and um, sometimes it has the prime logo and shop now. Okay, it looks kind of good I suppose, but it also looks a bit like an ad. I don't like to use these because I think it looks a little bit spammy. Um, and I don't think people would really click on ads that often. So um, I, I don't use this on my website. Uh, I would recommend that you don't use it either. Okay, so how exactly do you get those links? Well, if you click on the text link, for example, uh, you're going to have your uh, site ID and your tracking ID. So I've got a tracking ID for income school student for the website. And you have the choice between short code and full code. I recommend that you use full code on your website. Um, we had a, a few issues in Project 24 where with the short code it didn't seem to be getting tracked all the time, the clicks. So I always use the full code on uh, any blog post. It doesn't really make any difference um, and I think it's better to be safe than sorry. So I would just highlight the, uh, the code there. You go over to your website and you know wherever you wanted the link, you highlight it and then you just uh, paste it in. It turns into a hyperlink and always make sure that it opens in the new tab. That's what I always do. So for the image, again, you just click on it and you have a choice of different sizes, small, medium, large. Always click the largest, the largest image. And again, you copy and paste that. Uh, and you go over to your, your post or your page. And what I recommend you do is you find the custom HTML. Uh, so this is the way that I do it. Uh, and you just po paste in the code there. And um, that will show up as the image. In the same way, if you want to use the um, text in image, you can choose if uh, you open the link in the new tab or you show the border. And all you've got to do is just copy that code as well. And if you go over and also use the custom HTML block, and all you do is paste that in. So this is an iframe um, bit of code there. Okay, so that's how you would use it normally. But let's talk about how you can increase the size of that image. Okay, so I picked up this tip on Project 24. So let's just quickly talk about Project 24. So let's quickly talk about Project 24. If you're not familiar with this, it's a course that's been set up by Income School. And I'm a current member and I have been for about 10 months. I cannot recommend it enough. It's great. It takes you through all the steps that you need to know to build an online income through blogging or creating a YouTube channel. So if you're interested in finding out more, then click the link in the description. Uh, just be aware it is an affiliate link, so I do get a commission if you choose to buy through that link. But even if you don't use my link, I really would recommend joining this course. It's really helped me out. So one of the top tips that I've picked up through the community, which is a kind of a forum within Project 24, was how to resize Amazon product pictures. And it's really changed my website because now I can use those product images instead of having to get stock images elsewhere. So let's go talk about how to do that. Okay, so let's do a quick comparison. So if I get another image of this product, so I'm gonna choose the large one. It doesn't really matter for what I'm gonna do. Now, what I do, I, I choose the HTML block and because I want to have the image centered, I just put in a little bit of a little tag, which is center, spelled in uh, the American English way, if you can spell it. Now, it doesn't have to be on different lines here, but I just do that just to show you what I mean. So I'm gonna uh, paste in my code there, and uh, if I just, as an example, I'll do the same thing, center on this one and paste, paste in the code there. Okay, so for this one, uh, the top image, I'm gonna leave it as it is, 
and for the bottom in image we're going to change the size now this only works as far as I know on just the image it doesn't work I haven't found that it works on the text and image version so look at the code okay and it tells you all the information there what you're looking for is the format so it's format equals SL 250 now that's the size that's the width so all you have to do is the 250 you just change that and I found that 480 is a good size so if I update this and we go and we look at the page again and there you can see you can see the centered image of the smaller size and the centered image of the larger size so it's as simple as that you just change those few numbers and you can have that image any size that you want um, what I would also recommend you do is although you can click on this and it will take you to the the product it take you straight to the product I, I tend to have the image as uh, my main image for that product and then underneath I will have a text link really selling it to the user and why they should go and uh, buy that product now this is one way to get large images for products that you want to recommend to your users however of course the best way is to buy products and take images yourself but of course sometimes that's a little bit difficult because you may not have the equipment to make them look nice or you just at the moment can't afford to actually buy the product uh, but this is a kind of a workaround that I found to use Amazon images as real size images on your website so hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you've got any questions then please do leave me a comment and I'll get back to you thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time